All right. God bless your hearts real good. Hallelujah. Once again, this is the disciple of Jesus Christ. You know when the word go forth, the devil get mad. And sadly, they be preachers. The devil holler out. Now look on my look at my post from yesterday. Oh, do I need to do it? Why do I, I, I okay? Look at my post from yesterday, the post we did in the 15th chapter of the book of Acts. When the apostles, when, when, when people came into the church and told them that they need to be circumcised and keep the law of Moses to be saved. You know, the law of Moses included tithes and offering. Uh -huh. So we had a devil haul out. And the devil hollered out and said, well, you told a lie. You said God ain't got no house down here. And he ignorantly went to the scripture where Jesus said, my house shall be called the house of prayer for all people, but you may have dealt thee. Now he ignorantly went to that scripture. Hallelujah. So let's go to the scripture. And I told him I was going to expose him. And, 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 what, and, and I, what, I'm, what I'm giving you now, get ready to give you a script I get ready to give you now. I gave it to him and he deleted the scripture. I knew it was something wrong. I'm trying to type in stuff freezing up. That because he had deleted it. He did what he deleted the scripture. Therefore, I'm coming on giving it to you. And by him deleting the scripture, I'm deleting him. He can still view, he just won't come in. Now he can come back under another name. Mm -hmm. You think I do that, this? So let me make this deal with this. Y'all talk about the house of God. I, God don't have no house down here. And he went, and went to his scripture and said, my house should be called the house of prayer. And didn't even know, don't even know the scripture. Didn't even read that scripture. Dealing with God how called the house of prayer. None of y'all are obeying the scripture. None of y'all are obeying the scripture. The house of prayer. All y'all disrespecting God's house. And you're not obeying the scripture. In God's house. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are God building. Corinthians chapter number three. All y'all disrespect as not obeying and bringing the things of God's house. You're disrespecting God's house according to scripture. God don't have a house on earth. But you say he do according to scripture, so you disrespect the God's house that used to be on earth according to scripture. Demon crying out with loud voice. All right, get your baby and go to the book of Isaiah. Let's show you how you disobedient in God's house. Isaiah chapter 56. Come on out, say, come on out. And at verse 
number seven. Isaiah 56, verse 7, let's show you how you disobey in God's house. You tired, pale, you liar. Even them will, uh, this God talk, you better shut up. This God talking. Even them, referring to the stranger, verse 6, going back on verse 6. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings. <laughs> and their sacrifices. shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called and house of prayer for all people. Where you sacrifice, where you burn off of that hypocrite. You say you ain't God's house. Where you offer it, where you sacrifice it. For your burnt offering. Hallelujah. Do you see? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh boy, this all right here. You hear me? Go to the sixth chapter. The seventh chapter. Sixth chapter. Of the book of Second Chronicles. Glory to God. Or said Chronicles. Now, when Solomon had made an end to praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering. And the sacrifices. And the glory of the Lord filled the house. All right, Hebrew, I mean, Matthew chapter 9 and verse 12 and 13. Go learn what this means. I will have mercy, not sacrifice. Y'all disrespecting the house of prayer for all people. Where your burnt offerings at? That time is over. Thank you for hearing demon crying out with loud voices. All right, that's enough. Now, I've given this fella a chance to, he deleted what I just gave you, I gave to him. And he deleted God, no. So now let me go ahead and delete him. Though he still can see, he just can't comment. Now, I'm sure he can come back under another name. Let's see. He called himself nobody. Nobody Jr. Well, he is too nobody. Let me go and then delete him if he have not deleted himself. Okay. That go delete him. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. 
hide users from my channel, hide existing and future comments from this user on my channel. He can still see, but he just can't comment. Now he has to come back under another name. Hide user. User hidden and comment removed. I'm going to give, go come on a uh, uh, food. Don't even know the script. Now all you out there, you disrespecting the house of God. Because you're not bringing your offerings, burnt offerings, and sacrifices. According to the law of Moses. Which, in the 15th chapter of Acts, the apostle said you don't have to keep the law of Moses to be saved. Thank you for viewing.